Hello everyone, this is Lunar, and welcome to more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we, um, uh, get Ocarina of Time, and learn the song of time. No, wait a minute, we got some gold scotulas in. Some things we forgot along the way. But in this episode, we are moving to the Temple of Time. With the Ocarina of Time, to play the Song of Time, the Out of Time, to open the Door of Time, and see what is behind the Door of Time. Welcome, everybody, to the Temple of Time. This will probably be the shortest episode I will go to uh, on this series, but it's a very important one. It's very story driven, so if you want to know the story, Stay with us. Alright. And by playing the Song of Time, the three spirits of stones shoot up from my hand and Open the door to our audacity. Yeah. Holy cow, so many goosebumps. <laughs> anyway. So as you may see, we are at the Temple of Time, we played the Sun of Time, close by the Altar of Time, to open the Door of Time, to see Tad. Lee isn't Tad. Master, is that the legendary blade? The Master Sword. Ugh, so cool. <laughs> I'm seriously having crazy goosebumps right now. All right, with that, we move the Master Sword from the pedestal of time. Yeah, not even joking. Gee, he, he. Excellent work. As I thought, you had the key to the door of time. Very smart of you. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I go out to you, kid. Link, 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 wake up, Link, the Chosen One, you're the Chosen One, Anakin! Okay, sorry. Wow, what is this place? <laughs> what an acid trip and on and on. Oh crap! I am Haru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages, the side of the Temple of, time, of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred, sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Oh, look at this. Look at that. You are grown up. Look, Link, you're big now. You're a grown-up. You're grown-up. 
I'll tell you over on it, man. The Master Sword is a secret blade each evil wants me never touch. Only one worth of the title of the Hero of Time can pull it from the, the pedestal of time. However, you're too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was still here for seven years. And now, that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do not uh, do you understand your destiny? But remember, till you open the door of time, in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Guru King of Thieves, use the enter, use it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely the Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all sages is awakened, the sage seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Haruru, am, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the master sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their mind to your, your own. And with this, we get you receive the light medallion. Rose the sage adds this, his powers to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyro. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our only hope. Two. Two for the price of one, Grandma. Let's go. The Temple of Time. Link, we are back in the Temple of Time, but I have seven years really passed. It looks like you won't be able to use some of your weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Zoosh! <laughs> Who goes there? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, a awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages, whose will in the five temples, one in a, one in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under the, a vast lake, one with the house of the dead, one inside the goddess of the sand, together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will pine the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Very creative name you have there, buddy. As I see you stand there holding the mythical master sword, you really do like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for you. One sage is waiting for the time of awaken in the fourth temple. The sage is a girl. I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakened call from the secret realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you, your current are, you can even enter the temple. But if, but if you believe what I'm saying, you should have had to Kakariko village. 
Do you understand, Link? How the hell you know my name? Who the hell told you that? I'm probably Impa or whatever. You have anything more to say? To say the forest girl, I need another skill. Had to go to the village. All right. We have our mission. We have ten minutes. So let's go over there. All right. You you can do that right now. Ten minutes. Sounds good enough. Let's do it. Uh, going this way. We move outside. Oh boy. This looks real great, doesn't it? That looks very normal over there, the ring of fire. Heart on fire. Okay, no, just kidding. I'm not gonna sing a little bit over here. So it's still have 10 minutes, let's go. As you can see, this town was ravaged by Redad. <laughs> if you kill Redad now, you can actually get some uh, magic out of it. So it's always good to keep that in mind. Rifta, it's daytime outside. As you can see, the dark clouds return. And we move to Kakariko village, as we were told to do, because that's happened when you're, uh, you know, a silent protagonist that they have a mind of its own. We just do what people tell, tell us to do. Because I was told to do! Okay, whatever's the Patrick, uh, Patrick, uh, from SpongeBob Koto. Anyway. With that out of the way, um, around here as well, there's a secret, uh, secret cave, so keep that in mind. And around that little open square on the middle. Just stand. Uh, and we're going up here. I forgot one thing. This is the shoot gallery, by the way. I'm not supposed to be here. I don't have, um, the... The hygiene for Tad, so you're just going to see me skipping in and out. <laughs> That's what you're going to see me, me doing anyway. So with Tad, we're back to the graveyard. And as you can see, there's poles over here. But more importantly, tell seeds we planned earlier. Now they all grow up too. And they can be used as a platform to get to higher places. So we have 11 hearts. Holy cow, that's a lot. So let's do the last thing you can do for now uh, on this episode. And let's move inside to find out the dump is dead. Hang <laughs> on, man. You're faster than your feet. It may not look, look like it, but I am confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you're there. Yeah, for a slow guy that took me 20 minutes of my life. You sure are boosting yourself very much about your speed, huh? Going over here. Can't go the fire. But remember where the fire is so you can actually run. So cut corners. It doesn't matter. Later on, you're going to have to do this under one minute. I think you can do it anyway. So, yeah, going over here, going over there. Still decent time, even though we get caught by the fire. I uh, throw that on the corner. Yeah, you have to have some luck with the fire too. So, yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to do this under one minute. Go over here. Wow, oh, I got touched by three fireballs. Really, really, buddy. Very funny. Ha ha ha. So, yeah. Going this way. Right up there. Gonna hear some ticking. What? Well, yikes! This being the worst sign I've done this in a very long time. So yeah, talk to him. Come on. Yo. Your time to race was one eleven. <laughs> Your man, you're very quick to be able to keep up with me. As a reward, I give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. The so spring loaded chain will pull you any spot. Uh -huh. Pretty sure around the town you would be told that there's a legend about an item in the graveyard or something like that. So I just come up over here and do it. It saves us time. Probably you can get that from the from the 
Uh, who? I don't. I don't remember. Anyway. For some people, and all the. You know, so the hook shot is our first item as an adult. Is it for yourself too, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to use a hook shot. No need to tell me. So anyway, got me up here. These are a sto uh, blocks of time. Each you can move 10 out of the way with the sum of time. And that's basically it. So there's one thing I want to do, at least try to do, uh, before we stop for today. And it's not regarding these platforms over here. So just wait. Yeah, this is very interesting, isn't it? This is gonna be important for later. Keep that in mind. All right, we get another piece of art, another one to our collection, and they're getting close to actually any man. It, uh, five, sixteen, four, fifteen left. Fifteen pieces of art left. Is it that exciting? Uh, so, if you talk to the guy over here... Grr! I never forget what happened on that day, seven years ago. Grr! It's not that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I gotta mess with him. You don't try a child. Here, this is an Ocarina. Mess with me. What? You got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then, a mean key came here and played a strange song to mess up with the windmill. And these, and with these, we get the final song of the top row of songs you can get on the sixth go. Is that playing? We got the Song of Storms. You've learned the Song of Storms. And now the windmills messed up again. <laughs> yeah, one final thing. Let's do it. Let's go to Dumpy again. And see what I can do. So, um, you have to do it now this, what we just done under one minute. Let's see if I can do it, Tan. And if I can do it, Tan, that'd be great. If not, I cannot. So we're probably going to skip all the way uh, a successful attempt. It's going to take us one minute and I have two minutes left. So see you there. Get inside. Oh, really? <sighs> I was inside. I did that in one try. I don't care what anybody says. go through there fuck you uh, 
Oh my. Right. Fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it took a couple of tries, but we did it. Piece of art. There we go. Thanks everyone for watching. Catch you guys then. I'm gonna leave the bullshit that was the first attempt. Each actually managed to do this in one attempt. But the game decided, no, we're gonna bullshit you, and that's what happened. Anyway, so with that. Uh, I end things here. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.